the battle of France is over. The battle of Britain is about to begin. Upon this battle depends the survival of Christian civilization. The whole fury and might of the enemy must very soon be turned on us. Hitler knows that he will have to break us in this island or lose the war. But if we fail, then the whole world, including the United States, will sink into the abyss of a new dark age. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty. So bear ourselves that if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their final time. Over, in fact, coming in towards us over the bay is the Spitfire Mark 19. <laughs> attention that is lavished on those aircraft. I mean, you could eat off the floor of their hangar. I mean, I wouldn't, because, you know, it's not nice. But uh, you could if you really wanted to. And uh, they were doing some skin repairs on the on the wing of the Lancaster. They look set to be going for an incredible amount of time. It's curving in over Elizabeth Castle. It's looking wonderful. 
The Lancaster, of course, was uh, a development of an earlier bomber that really wasn't quite as good. The original bomber was called the Avro Manchester, powered by two Rolls-Royce Vulture 24-cylinder engines that were very unreliable. Mer uh, Rolls-Royce were hard-pressed to keep up with the number of Merlins that were needed for Spitfires and Hurricanes. They simply didn't have the manpower to develop the Vulture, so it was very, very uh, unreliable. And the problem with the Rolls-Royce Vulture was that when one engine failed, the only other, the other engine that remained was only guaranteed to get you to the scene of the crash. Uh, the aircraft had no single engine before this chase. So somebody came up with quite an idea. history. Phenomenally successful uh, variant of the development of the Lancaster was taking 10 tons of material into Berlin during the Berlin airlift. The Lancaster, of course, is famous as the aeroplane that uh, dropped the, the, the dams bomb, and also 617 Squadron dropped the, the tall boy in Grand Slam box. 10 ton bombs from one corner of aeroplane. I've uh, spoken to several Lancaster pilots and Lancaster crew members in the past, and uh, they all say what a lovely aircraft it was to be flying, a very solid, very robust. And uh, well, the I was speaking to a while ago, Ron Key, static display. They're piloted by uh, the gentlemen who are allowed to wear the black overalls in the RAF and who fly this uh, museum piece today. Always an encouraging thing to see. So now we're seeing the two of them coming back together. Uh, last year, you're saying that, last year my, my, my brother's father-in-law was 80 years old and so I had a chat to the crew and they just went out of their way to sign to, to um, leading aircraft from the second class parcels. And he had sort of several squadron leaders, the old wing commander and a couple of MBEs signing his birthday card. And he was actually in tears when he got it. It was a wonderful thing to do. So here comes the Lancaster back again with the wheels down very, very slow. I'm not going to call it a dirty bug because I don't think anything can be dirty about this aircraft, so you're not. Wonderful. Banking right to follow the Lancaster out over the bay and to join up in formation with it. I don't care what anybody says, this to me is the highlight of the display. Two absolutely beautiful, classic aeroplanes. But uh, then again, I'm sure everybody has their own highlight and there's plenty more still to come in the display today. As the Lancaster banks so slowly around uh, between Elizabeth Castle and the harbour here. If you're down at the harbour, you'll be getting a great view of that. Followed closely by the Spitfire on escort duty. I've spoken to some uh, Spitfire and Mustang pilots who used to fly escort duty for the bombers as they came back. And they said it was hard work because, of course, the fighters, so much faster than the bombers, had to continually circle around them. They couldn't just throttle back and sit behind them. It's very uneconomical. Gentlemen, please wave the hand that you're not giving money away with. Absolutely excellent sight. As Chris leans back there and takes a very good part of the passing aircraft. Um, with uh, the Spitfire and Hurricane now, I'm oh, sorry, Spitfire and Lancaster now.